Hello everyone and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. We are going to be doing a requested video for watching us do a lesson of dimensions math. And in celebration of our first week of first grade, you're going to get to see us do the first lesson of dimensions 1a. That's a lot of ones, huh? Mm -hmm. So before we get started, Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I hope you enjoy today's lesson. All right, so our chapter opener is what we're gonna be looking at today and we are going to be doing numbers to 10. So if you want to open your textbook to page one. And it's new, so we're gonna have to kind of bend the pages back a little bit. There we go. So we see, what are we seeing here? We're seeing monkey, giraffes, alligators, snakes. Yeah, do you think this is maybe like a zoo or something and we could pretend these are like little paths to walk down? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's look at page one and let's see how many of each animal there are. So let's see. Let's walk down... Let's start at the top and let's walk down. Do you, how many giraffes do you see? I see one. One giraffe. Okay. How many monkeys do you see over there? Hmm. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six monkeys. All right. Now let's keep walking down the path. Oh my goodness, what are all those brown things in front of us? Bears. How many bears do we see? Four, seven, eight. Very eight. good. Good I, job. I just like looked and then I was like four, seven, eight. Very good, sis. Perfect. All right. Uh-oh. What's behind us? Look behind you. What is that? That is an alligator. That is some alligators or some crocodiles. How many do we have in that tank? Five. That's right. Five. All right. Well, let's keep walking forward over here. I see two big... Oh, I told you how many there were. I see some elephants. How many elephants are there? There. Uh, uh, you... It didn't matter if you told me or not because I just knew. Right. Mm. There's two. There is two. Okay, let's walk down. Ooh, what are those? Mm, down or up? Well, it's, what are those right there? Um, tigers. Tigers. Don't they look beautiful? How many tigers are in the pen? Four. Four tigers? And then across the tigers, what animal do we have over here? A zebra. A zebra. And there's three. Three. Do you think any of them are named Ziggy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right. Now which way? Mm, let's go this way. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Is there something on the path? Think so. Oh dear, he's escaped out of his cage. What do we have there? We have a gorilla in the back. We do. How many gorillas are in that enclosure? For four, six, eight, nine. Nine gorillas. Good job. And then we've got one more set of animals to walk over to. <laughs> And then our very last, oh, you know what? We actually missed another enclosure. I didn't see. I thought this was grass. It's not grass. What is that? Here, let me walk up to it, okay? Okay. Ah! Ah, careful! Boing. What is that? Snakes. Snakes. Oh, how many snakes are there? Um, you can count them one by one. 
You don't have to add every time. Oh, I'm trying. Four, six, ten. <laughs> Good job. Perfect. Ten snakes. Now, let's go back down the path because we forgot to count the lions. Do, do we have to count the lions? We do. You're going to have to jump over that tiger again. Jump over the tiger. See? You're going to go down to the lions. Or are you going to go the long way? Are you going back by the gorilla again? Yeah. And then go ahead and tell me how many lions are in there. Three, seven, eight. Oh, try that one more time. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. And this cat is in the back. That's a lioness, isn't it? All right, so the lesson says to... If your student mastered counting to 10 accurately, continue straight to lesson one. But I just wanted to kind of give you a little overview. So we're not going to go ahead and count the things in the classroom. We're, we're going to skip these activities. And then it's actually raining outside right now. So we're not going to do this scavenger hunt for like counting leaves or anything right now either. So what I always do is I do our chapter opener and then we go ahead and go straight to lesson one. Almost always. I can't think of any scenario that we did last year that we didn't do the chapter opener. So right here we have lesson one, numbers to 10. We're gonna count groups of objects from one to 10, read numerals and word numbers to 10, and then represent numbers to 10 on a 10 frame. It's telling us that we're gonna need the counters or 10 counters, and then we're gonna need a blank 10 frame. So this is, you can either go on dimensions and print off your BLMs here, or, for us, we have this learning resources 10 frame board that I purchased for kindergarten. And so this is what we will use. One, it eliminates paper and it's just something that's used so often. It's just really easy to just use this instead. All right, so right here, it's got to think. It says provide students with a small handful of counters and ask them to count. There are numerous amount of counters that you could use. You can get the little bear counters. For us, we're just gonna use these. And what I'm gonna do is I am just going to pull out a random number here. And can you count what I gave you? All these? Nope, the little counters that I gave you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, to get 10, how many would you need? If I, need, if I asked you to count two. 10, okay, so I would give you two more. And now how many counters do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. Mm -hmm. At the chapter opener, we were walking through the zoo, right? And so all the animals were kind of grouped up together. Mm -hmm. you, you counted them pretty easily, right? But if they were on a 10 frame, would it have been even easier? If they were on a 10 frame, mm -hmm. all of them? So if I told you that no, there were... that would be harder. <laughs> I'm talking about... I'm talking about the individual ones. So if I showed you this and I said, how many alligators were there? There were... Um, five. Five. So you can see it on the 10 frame really quickly, can't you? Yeah. All right, what it wants us to do now is it wants us to look back at our chapter opener of the animals. And it wants you to look at the first image and then it wants you to put a counter. So there were how many giraffes? Right, one. And then you take that off. There were how many elephants? Right. How many zebras? Oh, okay, that's okay. Now let's skip to some of the bigger ones. How many lions were there? How um, many? That's right. So can you kind of see a pattern when we're filling in the chin frame? We have five 
and then some more. Mm -hmm. So can you, if you were counting, would you go one, two, three, four, five, or would you try counting on? I would do five plus two. Okay, so if I showed you this and I said, how many markers do we have on the tin frame? I would say five plus two equals seven. Mm -hmm. So you could go five, six, seven. Okay? Yeah? All right. So let's go to your textbook, and we're going to be looking at some of the children. So go ahead and turn your page to page two. So as you can see right here, I have the student's page picture right here and right here. So even though she's upside down from me, I can still see what it is very easily. So it says up at the top, think how many. So this is all the animals that we just saw in the zoo. And what they're doing is they're showing it to you on a 10 frame. They're showing you the number. And then they're showing you how we write the number, how it's spelled. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's three different ways here that we can see one, right? I guess four. We have one image, one on a 10 frame, one on a number card, and one in a word, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. So it wants you to go through and it wants you to count the animals again. So instead of you having to count every one again, just look at the word and say what Nine, it is. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, over here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right, so now we're going to do the do section. So go ahead and turn your page to page four. And we can kind of smash this paper down. All right. So right here it says students that struggle may put counters on a blank tin frame to count. The page could also be shown on a screen and teachers could cross off each item as it's counted. We don't need to do that. And then we have students should begin to recognize some patterns. So this is where if your student needs to, let's say, how many are in each group, okay? We're gonna look at the glasses. How many glasses are in that Five. group? Yep, and they already put it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one's already answered for them, and then it goes to peanuts. So if they were having issues counting, you could give them a 10 frame, and we could count the peanuts. One, two. And so there's, go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so you could go through and you could count the peanuts individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then they would write the nine on the peanuts. All right. Now, how many balloons are there? Now, how many books are there in that group? Mm hmm. And there's no wrong way to write four. No, you could write a four backwards. How many juice boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Something that I do want to show you is that we go ahead and we bring over this number board when we're working with numbers. That way we're practicing making sure that we are writing them the correct way One, and the correct two, direction. Three, and this four, just kind of makes things six, a little seven. bit simpler. There's no use in making this part more difficult. This is something we can work on in our handwriting. But for math, we are simply getting the answers correct. And I don't mind at all if she looks over at this chart to make sure that she's writing the number correctly. And while I was showing you that, she went ahead and finished all of her sheet. So we came up with seven, very good. All right, so now you're gonna see how many dots are there and you're gonna put the answers in the blue box. Okay. So how many are on the first line? Five. Now we're gonna go down here to the bottom and we're gonna be how many blue linking cubes are there and then you're going to count the blue linking cubes and you're going to put them on the blue box. This is another one of our absolute favorite math manipulatives that we have. 
if we didn't have anything else, these would be the only thing, and these are just math linking cubes. Another thing with dimensions math is, as you can see, as we're doing in lesson one here, it is something that you can coordinate that with. So you can actually pull out blue cubes and make the same image that we're seeing on the paper, and then that way they're seeing it in real life and they're seeing it on the paper. I will actually link a video right over here so that you if you want to see what our other math manipulatives are, we have that video up too. Because I see two more here. Mm-hmm. It tells me something. Right. Guess what's telling me? <laughs> that you can just add two. Well, it says that seven. That's right. So I don't know if you can tell what she's doing right now, but she is actually coordinating her blue lines and saying, okay, she knows this is five, so now she's just looking over. So this is something that you're just learning through Dimensions Math, and so she's just picking that up and carrying it on from last year, where when she sees, okay, we've got five, we can kind of jump forward. She knows that there's two. Right here, she goes down. She knew that she had seven here, so she could jump back one, and she was able to get the answer really quickly. So that's just something that she picked up from last year, and so she's just able to progress through this a little bit quicker because she's remembering that. All right, so she's done her pages for the do, and now we're gonna go to the activities. All right, guys, we're actually gonna go ahead and stop this here. I didn't want this video to be super duper long, so we're just gonna stop for today. We'll have two parts to this video, so come back tomorrow and I'm going to have the second part loaded where we're gonna be going through all the activities and you can see all the activities that we play, the games that we're gonna be playing, and also you're gonna be able to see us do the workbook pages. So thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing so you're not missing any of my content this week. I'll see you tomorrow.